Welcome. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I make my guitar samples. Okay, so I have this guitar already recorded in. Let me show you quickly what chords I used. I'm not an expert at guitar. I don't know how to play the guitar, <laughs> but here are the chords. We got a major seven. I don't know what this chord is called. And then we got a minor seven with a hammer on. That's basically how I played the chords. And then these two guitars, these are just top lines. I just messed around with the guitar strings and I came up with these melodies. Here's what they sound like individually. Now the processing. Processing is very, very important in my opinion because it gives the overall feel, the vibe of the sample. For the guitar chords, I have this free dynamic EQ plugin called TDR Nova just to control the low end. As you put more processing on the guitars, it'll also boost that, that nasty low end that I don't fuck with. I also have an EQ right afterwards, just a high pass. Next to the guitar melodies, they don't have anything on them. They have Guitar Rig 6, but they're automated to be turned off. I can just get rid of these actually. I have all these guitar chords in a group, and in that group, I have my processing on it. All these plugins are either stock, Ableton, or free. By the way, let me show you how it sounds all together first, and then I'll go through the processing with you. Okay, so first thing on my chain is Gemmod, which is a free chorus plugin. These are my settings if you want to copy them. Just mess around until you hear what you like. After that is another EQ to get rid of the low ends even more. Then I have a compressor. Here's what this sound like. The chorus alone already makes the guitar sound really, really nice. Here's it without the chorus. Next on my chain is a repeater. It's just a delay. This is a free plugin as well. I think, pretty sure it is, because I don't remember being hyped about a delay plugin. <laughs> These are my settings. Up and paste if you want. I just have it to 1 8 uh, on the left and right, and this is what that sounds like. Yeah, I have my mix knob at around 20%. You can copy my settings if you want, but I feel like you'll get the best sound if you experiment by yourself. Next is a reverb. This is Ableton's up-to-date reverb. Not gonna lie, it looks kind of sexy. The new interface is really, really cool. I don't think I did much to it. I think I just increased the decay, messed around with the filter, and that's it. You can copy my settings again. That's basically the chain. Okay, that's the processing done. I'm gonna make a beat around this to give you guys an example of how it would sound like over a beat. You could also pitch stuff around, up and down. I feel like there's too much reverb, so I'm gonna just turn the dry wet knob down. I'm also gonna mess with the, the BPM.
That's crazy. That's so crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and arrange this now. Not the not the topic of this video, but arrangement is also very, very important. Keeps the energy of the song. Alright, let's do the guitar first. And then this section, I'm gonna have the hi-hats and the other guitar leads. I think I'm gonna have all the drums come in at this one. This part. Oh, actually, I think we should pitch the guitars down by an octave. <laughs> It's gonna fire the heck i mean no big deal it's just a beat damn take this i'm gonna reverse it so it also supports this riser so yeah that's how i process my guitar samples if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you are new and i'll see you next week